राइट वाला ये सेकंड ये हाँ इसको थोड़ा अनकमेंट करो लेकिन इसको थोड़ा देर करना क्या पड़ेगा ये नहीं इसको इस लाइन बना देखो एक ही काम जी नहीं ये काम गए ये काम बन वो ऐड करना है हाँ ये कि माउस स्टार्ट सेकंड ट्रेगर हो जाए तो क्या लिस्ट को क्लियर कर दो पता नहीं पॉलीगोन के लिए मैंने पी टू क्या बोल रहे हैं नहीं नहीं ब्रैकेट नहीं वो वो मकसद एफ को एफ को बंद करने के लिए एफ लगाया है ना चलो अच्छा चलो ठीक ठीक अच्छा ये उसको ये किसकी फिर ब्रैकेट है नहीं अच्छा ये फिर ऊपर वाले कौन चलेगा हाँ क्योंकि मैंने नहीं चलाया मेरे ख्याल से ये नहीं चलेगा इस तरीके से इस तरीके से मैं कुछ और भी करना है मुझे लग रहा था पॉलीगोन कमांड है ना उसको नल कर दें क्यों क्योंकि वरना फिर वहाँ से वो नहीं फिर कमांड बनाए मैं ये सोच रहा था जो पॉलीगोन कमांड है ना उसको मैं नल कर दे फिर तो वो एक कमांड रही ही नहीं ना लेकिन उससे मेरे ख्याल से नहीं हो रहा था शायद देख लो इसको भी रन कर रहा है रन वही होता है एप्लीकेशन ही होती है चलो If we didn't use, if we didn't integrate in Z first, then we'd have to come up with clever bounds for X. 
right? X and Y behave sort of, spe or I guess X behaves especially with respect to Z. Okay, so we've got a nice simple bound. Okay, and now what's the next move from here once we get to this point? One guy's move is fall asleep. about how to integrate this thing. Yeah, sure. Do the binomial multiplication. Yeah, we can just multiply this guy out, right? Then we get a polynomial, which is nice. Notice we've got all um, odd powers here. Okay, and then now we've got a constant. There are no y's involved. There's no dependence on y, so we get okay. This is a little scary. Two out of three, sir? Uh, two out of, oh yeah, sorry, we should. Wait, sorry, come again? We've got two uh -huh. thirds, yes. The entry factor out too. Ah, ah, sorry, yes. So we've got something of length two, yeah? Uh, so this cancels down to one, this cancels down oh. to a fifth, but now we've got two copies of the whole thing. This looks strange, yeah? Did anyone do the algebra here, the arithmetic here? Let's see what we get in the end. One second. Yeah, we'll, we'll do some fast calculation. Let's see, so there should be 16 over 15. Mm. Something like this. So what did you get? 16 over 15. 16. Yes, 16 over 15. Okay, very nice. So when we've got a integral of multiple variables, we want to pick a nice order uh, to integrate in. Right here, our simplest bounds are on z, so we integrate it at z first. Oh, 
any final thoughts there or final comments? And then the substitution and all other things will work the same way. Ah, uh, right. So we had a question about uh, substitution and change of variables, yeah? So for the final exam, don't worry about change of variables with triple integrals, just with two, two variables, okay? okay. Um, yeah, so this is sort of the level of complexity of, of triple integrals that we have. Aha, why, why did we pick VZ first? Sorry? I mean, I mean, how do we switch the order of integration? Aha, we'll switch. aha, aha. So, uh, right, so the, the fact. Sibelius plus, not made of type one, type two, type three. All of these guys all agree. All six orders will give you the same volume element. So we can do. And we're missing two. Which which two are we missing? Well, we're missing one that begins with Y. And then one which begins with X. Yeah, D one more that begins with x. dx, dz, dy. So all of these, all of these will give you the same integral. Uh, whether we pick, you know, this order or any of the other six. Okay. And what about the bounds? Aha! So then you have to then you have to pick appropriate bounds. Yes. Yeah, so when you pick a, an order, you have to pick bounds that work well with that order. So how do we, how do we figure out a, a correct bound? Ah, yes, how do we get the correct bounds? There is no algorithm to do this. So you have to look at your region of integration and know which order to pick. So it's very much the same as it is with two variables. With two variables, you have to pick um, uh, order of integration that matches your region. So if we need to choose that first, that would be more complicated? Sure, yeah. I, I get the sense people want to see this set up, yeah? I just, I'm just wondering what would, what would we need. Okay, so let's let's pick a, another order of integration and see. Sorry? Why is that? This um, order is yeah. It depends on that. Yeah. We'll do it in an alphabetical order. Easier because is equal inside, otherwise you can do it inside. So what we need to do is we need to describe this region with x playing a, an important role. Yeah? 1 minus z whole square root of x. Yes, 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 yes. Good, good, good. So we want to integrate Z, so we have to go from zero up to one, right? Where does Z go in this diagram? It goes from Z equals zero to the max at X equals zero. Okay, now Y, when we look at the diagram, it goes from negative one to one, yeah? But now we have the, the difficult choice of X the x depends on where you cut the tunnel. Square root of z. Right, so if you cut this plane, <coughs> right, it starts as a square and, it become, and then it becomes a rectangle and it becomes a little line. So you have to be very careful when you integrate out the x. Oh. So we've got, So far, like the minus to the plus. Plus minus one over minus third. Plus minus one over third. Plus minus one over third. Oh my.
So we have to we have to figure out these bounds based on our sketch or based on our, our understanding of what the region looks like. Okay. Says side length two and two. Now we go up a little bit in the tunnel. Right? We, we move our cross section up a bit. This is a rectangle. So then maybe this is that is half. And we get a thinner thing uh, that goes. I guess it's length roots up to two and two. And then we go up higher. And we just get a line. Right, so the X range changes based on where you cut the region. So we can't put in negative one for one. It has been an absolute pleasure teaching you this term.